Hi there, Jamie Keith here today at Teachers Tech. Hope you're having a great day today. Today I'm taking a look at PDF Element 7 by Wondershare. Now, first of all, this is a sponsored video. They reached out to me a couple of weeks ago and asked me to take a look at their product. I've used it and I feel confident in showing you that this could be a great uh, Adobe alternative at a cheaper price if you need to be editing or creating PDFs, uh, especially if you want to convert them over to things like Microsoft Word or take a picture and use the powerful OCR that it has built in too. Pretty much it's the PDF experience simplified through uh, PDF Element 7 here. Now let's get started started today on this walkthrough showing you all these great powerful features inside of it. So first of all, why might you need a PDF editor? Now, if you wanted to edit a document, a PDF from the web, you wouldn't be able to make any changes to it. You could highlight and copy things from this. So here's an, a 10 page document that I have open that I took from the web and I could copy things over and paste them into a Word document. But a PDF editor allows me to quickly edit and make changes to this document. So let me show you how this works. I've already downloaded this document here. It's a 10 page document. I'm going to go ahead and open up Wondershare uh, PDF Element 7 and you'll see right away when it opens up uh, it's very intuitive to all the things that you can do with it so right away you can see how I can edit PDF create PDF convert batch processes and I'm going to show you uh, how some of these key features work here um, after this but I'm just going to go ahead and open up that file so I'm going to go ahead and put open and go ahead to sample because that was what I had there so then I get this file opened up here you can see it's the 10 pages uh, through here so I just want to show you how quick it will be to uh, edit inside this now I have this right away I I have uh, notice when I click and hold I can bring this back and forth that's because it's on the hand here now that and that allows me to move it this when I click this this is a text selection I can go through and select different things just like when I was on the PDF now the magic with the PDF editor happens when I click this right here so when I click on this I can start editing so for example let me just zoom up here so you can see a little bit more on this one right here if I go through here I can make changes right away so if I just type changes here I can start editing editing this document just like something I was doing from maybe Microsoft Word or Google Docs. If you know how to work those, you're know you're gonna know how to work PDF Element Seven. You can see right away when I start typing, I can make changes over here to the type of font. Uh, I'll click on a few of these so you can see the examples from the color and making all these changes uh, through here so again if you're used to making these changes in a Word document you can do this in a PDF, PDF editor very quickly uh, and I'll show you in a moment how you can just take a picture of your phone or scan if you were scanning something in and edit those also now if I go through I just want to point out if you notice you can see all the fonts are the same from the original one which makes it e even easier if you want to maintain uh, everything the same but I can go through and do things differently I could go in paragraph mode which you can see it, where it's a big chunk it goes through or I can do line mode where it'll go one from one so depending on how you want to edit but there's uh, so many features that you can intuitively see how to change so I can make I can crop this I can add watermarks to this very quickly I could add backgrounds a header footer and I'm not going to go through all these on this this example I just want to see all the things that you can quickly do you can even add more text or an image so if I click on add text I could just type and if I'll say I'll just type text here and I could make this larger what I, and then place it on the page wherever I want. So if I wanted this in a really large text and make it green over here like so. And you can see as I get the handles, I can move this around. And I like how the lines come up to line things up on the page. I can even put in an image if I wanted to uh, go select an image off here. So if I go ahead in this folder, I'll put this in and I could add this to the page I could resize it through here like so so you can make a lot of changes to the original PDF uh, document now the other thing I like with this is how quickly you can convert any of these things to Microsoft Word or PowerPoint or text or HTML 
I'm going to go uh, just open another file. I'm going to click back to home. So this will bring me back to home. I'm going to open up my other sample. So let's say this is a resume you found on the internet and you're like, oh, I like that. I want to make some changes to that right away. Remember, if you go into this, you can start editing it right away. I can also uh, convert this to uh, Word. So if I go up to convert here, you can see all the different things I can do. Now I'm just gonna in the ex this example just convert to Word, but you can see how I can do these others too. So if I convert to Word, and I'm just gonna put uh, save it back in that same folder and hit finish, and I'm just gonna minimize this and go into this folder and I should have a Word document right here and this will open up Microsoft Word and you can see how everything kind of is in a nice format and I can just go through and start working in Word. So that's another way you can use uh, PDF Element 7 to convert things very quickly. I'm just going to pop this back open again. Now Another cool feature that I really like uh, is the OCR and I'm always curious how powerful the OCR or how it will work. In my purpose day, all I did, I went up to one of my kids report cards and I just wanted, I took a quick pic uh, with my phone and downloaded it uh, to my computer here. There was poor lighting and everything. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and open that file and I'm going to, it's an image right now, so it's only finding PDF. So I'm just going to go to all files and I believe it is right here, this one. So I'm going to open this up and you can see it's nothing of a great, it's just a picture of something that was laying um, on this. So it's just an image, but right now I'm going to perform OCR, which is optical character recognition. So it's going to th go through and find the uh, letters and can convert it and I can actually make changes because right now it's just a picture. So perform OCR. Yes, I do want to save this. I'll save first. And it tells me uh, different language changes on it, but I'm keeping this as uh, English right here. So I'm going to go OK. So it's performing the OCR. It says it might take a few minutes for large documents. This one isn't very large, so it will uh, go through quite quickly here. And then once it converts, now this is, a, I find if you haven't seen this before, this is where people find it very interesting. You can see now I can go through and actually make changes again. So just typing different things in here. So it took the text out of just a picture on my phone and using OCR, I could go through and now I can make go through and edit this. So I could, now if I had a full page of text, I could copy it over. If I didn't want to type everything out, uh, this would be a great way to save you some time. So just something I wanted to show you that I always find this OCR and it works very well inside this PDF Element 7. So I'm just going to go back to home now and just show you some of the other features here. So now something like batch process here, I'm going to go click on this. So if I click on this, what that allows me to do, I can collect multiple files at once and perform, perform something. So I showed you how to convert uh, before with to Microsoft Word. If you had a lot of PDFs, what you could do is add all the PDFs here and then you could convert all of them at once. So rather than opening one at a time, it will do that all for you. So you would just drag them in. So same thing with the watermark. If I wanted to watermark all these PDFs with something, uh, I could also do it uh, rather than one at a time, just put it through a batch process. So if I was going in to convert through here, I could add my files uh, here. So if I was grabbing it, I would just go open and then you can see these are the PDFs and I hit start and it's going through and what it's going to do when they're all done is I'll go show you in the folder. So it says it's finished here and you can see I have these Word documents inside here that all those ones were converted over. So the ability to do those batch processes is a very powerful thing. So I just touched on some of the key features of PDF Element 7 and it can still do a lot more. Things like protecting your PDFs with a password. Uh, you can create uh, forms inside this. You can share right uh, over to Google Drive. Uh, so right now there's also I down below in the links. I have a 50% off uh, discount. So check the links on everything down below. Uh, if you try it out, let me know what you think of the product in the comments down below. So thanks for watching this week on Teachers Tech. I'll see you next time with another tutorial.